Hey guys, Tita James here. Welcome back to the channel where we take awesome out of the box. You did not misread that title. We're doing a reboxing of the Realme 8 Pro. I had to take photos for the website, so I figured let's just show you everything that comes inside the box in reverse. And actually guys, to be completely honest with you, this is just the lid of the box. This is the bottom half. And here you'll find, well, on the back of it, you'll find the key specs of the Realme 8 Pro, which includes, of course, a 108 megapixel ultra quad camera, the super slim and light design, a Snapdragon 720G processor, 50 watt super dot dark, Super dark charging, Jesus Christ, Jamie. A 6.4 inch Super AMOLED full screen display and a 4,500 milliamp hour battery. So those are the key specs that you're gonna be expecting from the smartphone. Anyway, let's show you everything that comes in the box in reverse. So first things first, you have the 50 watt Super dark charger right here. It is hefty, if I can say that, but again, 50 watt, uh, dark charging, this is advertised to give you 50% in 17 minutes. So very, very important for people who kind of forget to charge their phones before they go out. Of course, uh, to partner that up with, you have a USB-C cable. Uh, there you go, in white, looks very nice. And then when you open up the phone, you get this separator because that's where the phone rests. And we have the phone with us right here. This is the Realme 8 Pro in the infinite black colorway. I'm gonna be setting this aside for now, right here to show you everything else that comes inside the box. Of course, you also get that separate cardboard box, which kind of serves as a welcome package because right there it says, hey, welcome to the Realme family. Then you have the SIM ejector pin or you mahiwagang panundot as Ate Mary calls it. You have a jelly case, which is frosted in black. And then you have the documents itself. So you have a quick guide and the important information guide. We will just stick it back in to that little cardboard box right here so we can kind of show you how everything falls into place when it comes to the packaging. And there you go. Of course, the phone goes below that and just, we're just gonna put this in, tuck it in nice and tightly. So there you go, we have successfully Rebox the Realme 8 Pro. Now let's take a closer look at the phone itself. All right guys, so here you have a closer look at the Realme 8 Pro, as in closer because I moved down the camera so you can get a better look at this smartphone. So this is the infinite black color variant of this device. It's also available in infinite blue and illuminating yellow, which I would have really loved to see because parts of it are glow in the dark. I think the Dare to Leap slogan is glow in the dark. The Realme branding and parts of the camera array are glow in the dark as well. I would have really loved to see that, but this is a classic looking phone. Nonetheless, uh, the chassis is primarily made out of plastic. So the frame and the back panel itself, you have a sandblasted finish to give you a bit of a contrast from the glossy Dare to Leap slogan. And it is a way to mitigate or lessen the smears and smudges. My hands are kind of uh, sweaty right now. And as you can see, even if I wipe down the phone, no smears and smudges. So that's really great if you're planning to rock this without a case. There you go. Now, one thing that Realme said on the back of the box is that it has a slim and light design. It's still kind of hefty, especially for something that's plastic. I don't have the number, the weight of this phone in my head. I'll leave it somewhere here. I'll insert it in post. But yeah, there's a bit of heft to it, which I kind of like. And there's just enough curves to make it sit in the hand properly. Now, as far as button and ports are concerned, on the right side, you have the volume rocker and the power button. On the left side, you have access to the SIM tray, which is triple slotted. On the top, you just have a microphone. And then on the bottom, you have the usual uh, 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, a microphone, USB-C port, and the speaker grill. So another highlight for the Realme 8 Pro is its screen. It's a 6.4 inch full HD plus super AMOLED panel, which you know I'm kind of biased uh, towards. Now I know some of you might be disappointed to hear that this doesn't have a higher refresh rate. It's locked at 60 Hertz. It's still smooth when you're navigating, but that little extra bump to 90 would have been nice. But again, not a deal breaker for me since it does have 
a super AMOLED panel, those deeper blacks, more vivid colors are perfect if you watch a lot of YouTube videos. By the way, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Now, while we're still talking about the screen, you have, of course, a punch hole on the upper left-hand corner of that display, and that houses the 16 megapixel front camera that's down from 32 on the Realme 7 Pro. But of course, the star of the show for this smartphone is the main camera on the back, which is at 108 megapixel. It's backed by a Sony ISOCELL HM2 sensor, has an aperture of f1.9. Here are a couple of sample photos I was able to take around the house. And so far, I think they look good. Uh, of course, that's also paired with an 8 megapixel ultra wide camera, a 2 megapixel macro lens, and a 2 megapixel black and white camera to help with details. As for the rest of the specs of the smartphone, as you saw on the back of the box, it's rocking a Qualcomm Snapdragon 720G. Uh, we have 8 gigabytes of RAM and 128 gigabytes of storage. I would have loved to see something more current like the 732, but again, the 720G is still very capable if you're gonna be using this primarily for day-to-day -day use. It can still game, of course, but I would stick to medium and low settings. We'll get more details as we review this, uh, go, or more, go more in-depth in our full review. The battery is at 4,500 milliamp hours, so this, still, this is still a full-day smartphone. And again, you have support for Realme's 50-watt super dark charging. Again, 50% in just 17 minutes. And I think that's pretty much it for this reboxing and your quick look at the Realme 8 Pro because unfortunately, as of making this video, as you might have heard me say a couple of times when it comes to unboxing of Realme smartphones, we don't have the price just yet. We have to wait for their live stream on May 11 to find out or for someone to leak the prices, in which case we will update you on the website so make sure you follow us there as well but if you like this video give us a thumbs up sub to the channel and make sure you hit that notification bell if you have any questions about the realme 8 pro make sure you leave them down below and i'll try my best to get to them as soon as i can for all the latest in tech head to unbox.ph plus follow us on facebook instagram and on tiktok my name is tita james peace god bless see you guys next time and of course stay safe